Hello everybody, my name is Oberibe and welcome to Coffee Talk. So we got a couple things going on. Uh, one, I just got my uh, own order of top of the morning coffee and I'm super excited about it. And so when I saw this game, I just thought, you know, I had to try it out. Uh, this game, Coffee Talk, so it's kind of interesting. It's on sale right now for like 34% off. And unfortunately it's because the co-author of this game um, recently passed away. His name was Mohammed Fahim Has Hasni. I'm sorry for butchering it. So the 31st today through the 4th, I believe it is, all the proceeds they make from this uh, game will go to support his family. So um, I thought we'd check it out and uh, hopefully enjoy a chill, character-driven Let's Play. You know, it's been a while. I like these. Get some coffee. Let's go. What is your name, barista? It's Ribe. Reb is Reb correct? Yes. Okay, let's go. I think it's a chill game. There's an endless mode. That doesn't seem very chill. Seattle 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. Oh, there's races, huh? A time when anyone could dream of being whatever they want to be and have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, is it a place in time where anything can happen? It is a place in time where anything can happen. Brian and game design, there's Muhammad. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. Okay. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. Okay. And when the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. Fair enough. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever, it is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its peoples. Art. I like the art. Oh, we can smoke in here too. Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some of the stranger's memories. Oh, nice. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. Are there really coffee shops that are just open all night? I guess. Just a bar, right? A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Okay. Oh, I like, like the comic book slides. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Hello? Oh, hi there. Well, oh, it's you. Hey, Ribe. How's the night so far? Freya, huh? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Oh, what? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today's. Man, what a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry. Take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. I'm used to taking things slow. Huh. Writer's block again? You got that right. And what are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Hello? Coffee? Was that my phone? Ah, uh, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. You got it! I have absolutely no idea, so let's check your phone. Brew pad. Oh, there's, there is a lot here. Is this a triple shot? Blacker than the moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. What is this? Undiscovered, we don't know none of that. Green tea latte, dark chocolate. I'm gonna guess it's just coffee, coffee and coffee. Base, base, coffee. Primary, coffee. Secondary, more coffee. 
brew that bad boy. Oh, look at these cutscenes. Hell yeah. Espresso. Uh, serve it. Well, a cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Hmm, that aroma. Is it good? Do you like it? Do you love it? Ha! It's exactly what I need. You're welcome. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounds so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. <laughs> That's backup planning. That's good. Hee hee hee. Ha 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 ho ho. Uh, did I say something wrong? Stop laughing at me. No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they're also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when the opportunity presents itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally I pitched my book, book idea. Nice, good job. And? And? Oh, you're gonna make me wait for it. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, you know, it was such a stupid thing to do. No, you gotta take your shot, man. How'd they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Nice, that sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on a novel during office hours. <laughs> oh, nice. And I'm falling behind on my newspaper deadlines. Nice. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you got a month to finish the initial draft. Yeah, that's like forever. That was last week. Okay, so we got like three weeks, four weeks. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh, <laughs> we haven't even started yet, huh? I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. Can I see it? Uh, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided just to delete everything immediately. So, zero. <laughs> yes. I really need to finish it in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. Hoping to find some inspiration. Oh, I'll inspire you. For some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, looks like someone's coming. There's another seat. Another lady. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. I'm not planning to be awake all night. So definitely no coffee. She's definitely smoking inside, eh? How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. All right. Let's, uh, find this brew pad here. Um, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> I guess it's, um, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Can you brew just chocolate if there's no coffee in it? Nice. Dark chocolate. Serve it. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. What do you think? So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Hmm? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. Who's a third? I thought this place would be more crowded. Sorry, it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. 
because it's the only coffee shop that still opens after midnight. It's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. You know, there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. It's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running this coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Rive here is damn rich. That's the secret. <laughs> I'm rich. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Rive can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you still have this weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personally interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you! I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then are you here to write a new piece? I should be. I don't even know what to write about. Oh, we got a third customer! <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, uh, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? You have a devilish look. Something better to keep me awake. With milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on top. Oh, <laughs> latte art on top. You got it. Oh. How do I know it's bitter? Something bitter. So green tea is bitter. Both sweet and sorry with a hint of bitterness for heart. All right, so let's do... Um, a green tea, milk, milk. How do I? I don't know what that is. Put this away. I'm going to assume it's bitter. What do you think of my tea? Can you show me like making that sweet picture on top of it? Perfect green tea latte. Here's your order. This won't help me stay awake, but at least it's got milk. Anyway, I was distracted by some work, plus there's the rain. It's okay, Bailey. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I have any proper to introduce myself. I'm, I'm Bailey's, with an S. I'm multiple, I'm Bailey's. Oh my, where are my matters? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. L L Lua? Lua. <laughs> your name is now Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Rive. Welcome to my coffee bar. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Paper Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Well, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Oh, we all know Steve. Yeah, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. He sucks. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in designs and visual department. Wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Ha, <laughs> come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you always deal with bad customers here? The only customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. It's because you're good with your fists. Hell yeah, Freya! Not as good with your coffee making skill, though. Uh, appreciate the secondary compliment. Stop laughing at me. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. That's what I'm doing. You're welcome. Anyway, I need to start writing. Whatever it is, I'm going to write. So I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. What are you going to write? Go away, thingy. There we go. Oh, not far. Just over the table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. 
<laughs> I'll try. It's going to be terrible. Good luck. Thanks. Well, what's up, lovebirds? You like my tea coffee? Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here's good. Okay then. So, how was your day? I'm just like... Talk to me, please. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm part of it. It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always in a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today, he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened. It was a great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest clients? I'm just like still getting closer. Yeah. The one in the pain in the ass. You know, the... Those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I go on further complaining about her. That won't help me a bit. Should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Rive here how to deal with the annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? Once you don't need your fists to take care of. I, I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. I'm a smart ribe. That's one good lesson to learn for the day. Uh-oh. Look, her phone's even got horns. Are we just gonna ignore that? We're all sad. Your parents? Yeah. So, you've talked to them? I did. Didn't end well? No. Are we just doing some elf on devil action here? It's not... What, what did they say? A lot. Yeah? I'm not listening at all. They, they won't give us a chance at all? <laughs> Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got to fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? Don't even have to... You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not even have a... I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still... You don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mama, what about elves are holy creatures? About our immortality? But how if I outlive you? What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me? No other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Oh, that's what you are? That's exactly what they said. I'm just, like, rating this shit. Like, yeah, what what they say, Bailey's. Well, so that's it then. The end of our relationship. Doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We could just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? So I'm still just like... Do you want to be high in a relationship for the rest of eternity? Oh, sorry, those are... We're not like humans, you know. We just can't elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about our permissions. I'll be glad to serve my family ties if I have to. Jesus, I can't read that. He's gonna sever his family ties. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. How does that work? If you're just not part of the family anymore, you'll die. I get to spend my life with you. I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. But you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. <laughs> Just right here, part of this. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! Damn it. I feel for you, Baileys. <laughs> Sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's that's alright. I was I was stuck here anyway. I'm here till like three. The coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. 
I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and could calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes, the thing I just gave you? Green tea lattes. <laughs> what is that? I'll take one. Yeah. Was it just like green tea, milk, and milk? Green tea, milk, and milk. So, yeah, Bailey's, it's like this cool thing that I just made up on the spot. Definitely didn't give you by accident early. Serve it. Oh, there was a latte art button. Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop, but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I don't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why'd I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man says. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. New visit again. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? You were listening from over there? The whole two seats down? There's no way you heard. Yes. Poor souls. Hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close up the shop after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries comes in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Russian tea. Despite the name, it's totally American drink. That doesn't surprise me at all. Is this day number two? Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. You know what? Let's go for it. We're just chilling. The long coffee day. Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Son of a bitch. What do we got? Tell me about this zombie virus that's in Seattle where we're at now. Who's running in here? Freya, what's up, girl? Good evening. Good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry. I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write up for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me. What are you going to write about? At the coffee shop. Oh, yeah? You going to cut me out of the deal? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop here and the people who come here. Are you for real? Yes. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. Uh, that's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know that? Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level, loosely based. Okay. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. It's already very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about the coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although you could just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. <laughs> what? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer, my only customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's gonna come in tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Oh, hello, Georgie. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Rybe, no need to be that formal with me. Uh, we're both on duty here, hence the formalities. <laughs> you're stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight, so I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. 
You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks for your Tomodachi profile. Everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, uh, keep a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Sweet and healthy, huh? Yeah, let's uh, see what the brew pad's got for you. Something a little sweet. No milk, though. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Cup of sweet, healthy coffee. Sweet, healthy coffee, huh? Is this warm and calming darkness? Italian delight. A caffeine boost dominated by milk. I think we gotta make one, guys. The base. All right, let's add some coffee in it. Ooh, we got honey. Ginger. Let's add some sweet. Do we wanna add another thing? Do you think that we'll just make it cunny with a lot of honey in it? Brew it! Hell yeah. Oh, I can't put a leaf on it. Honey coffee, send it! Coffee with honey for the man on duty. He don't look happy. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Thanks, Georgie. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with services like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to, you still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. I knew that one. The one and only espresso. Let's go. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Right? Send it. Serve it. A starless night sky with the green haired fairy. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. What do you think? This is perfect. So how's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual, awful. <laughs> Why is everybody smoking my coffee shop? She's making a risky deal here with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal? A very nervous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously? Care to share the details properly? You tell him. She's secretly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I'll tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Ribe said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. Well, the novel is going to publish by her parent company, anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed off if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? <laughs> technically, <laughs> I might have to arrest you. <laughs> Shit. Hey, you do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they take a little longer than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You make me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not. But if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that you're like... Just don't mention that you like to do other things during working hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any ideas of what you're doing, what you're going to write? I have actually. Oh, good. And what will it be about? A coffee shop that the story people, a coffee shop with the stories people tell inside. You're letting her do that? There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady looking police officer who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. <laughs> I'll definitely write about the police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Was that a compliment or are you making fun of me? Eh? 
I would like to call that a compliment. Is it? I don't, I don't think so. What do you have against me tonight? Rive is probably worried about losing customers due to a breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'll be using their real names. It'll dramatize most things I've heard of, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration of what I write. By the way, someone's stationed here. I assume you've heard a lot of stories from people around here, right? No. Come on! Nope. No, no, no. You've helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me another interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What? Really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. Yeah, that sucks, man. <laughs> he took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper. That guy's busting me before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know where her deal is, but she has bright green hair. Oh, come on. I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. <laughs> Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Uh, Sorry, I'm having moon swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why is why this coffee shop? Um, because I spend a lot of time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I hear their story, when I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happened to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are there regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her coworkers or clients, helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Mm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Well, let's not make that a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then. See you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Nice. I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Oh, you're just the best ride. You're welcome. I know, kind of amazing. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. Is anybody else gonna come hang out with me? Guess not. Nope. Hmm. That should do for the experiment. Ah, someone's coming. It's the experiment. Oh, hello there. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. I ribe. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Uh, do you got something to say? Hmm. This is the place you recommended? You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like your coffee shop you're used to in LA, but it's with like his cut marks everywhere. He's just getting fights. Gala, it's fine. Err, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please? 
Okay, well, we'll do, uh, coffee. Maybe we should look to this. Coffee. I think I just get to make up coffee at this point. So let's just put ginger. And more ginger in it. Because I'm creative. Serve it. Ginger coffee. It's right where you want it. Yours ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. You got it. And ginger, ginger. Serve it. Here's your order. Hmm. Good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. Always surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, these changes a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop, I believe this was a bar back then. Why'd you have to open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde. My name's Hyde. From what I gathered, you're from LA, right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm, I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other a long time, I assume? You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not so long ago after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. W wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in. 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about 1860s? <laughs> no, we met in 1960s. We're old by some race standards, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. That was his place, wasn't it? When we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved? Bankrupt. Ah, uh, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Err. You're happy the bar closed down? What's with a smile if you don't mind? Ah, uh, nothing. I was just wondering, will history repeat itself? Hey, don't say that, man. I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You've got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gawa. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kinda. With the news about the newfound virus going viral, the hospitals have been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. Most people who come in are just, I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital? What, what, what was it called? Admission officer? And yes, I'm still, the, I'm still a hospital admissions officer there. You should have given your promotion for your loyalty and long services. They offered me a ma managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. <laughs> to each their own. Anyway, I was wondering, do they sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just... Order through the Blood Marketplace app. That's cool. Are you talking about Bloodlast? Uh-huh. Bloodlast gets their supply from the hospital. They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals and the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with lots of sales and promos. Use it often? Not really. I'm just trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah, how's that vegan diet going? It's not easy, but I but nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for acting. By going vegan, does that mean, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood, synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? It'd be too complicated to explain, but basically some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. 
isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good? If mixed with other ingredients? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? Might attract new customers and turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although some do experimenting with other things. Other things? <laughs> Mostly booze. But also mix it up with not so legal substances. <laughs> you know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fury? Found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. But I do know that's it. that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you order coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine and coffee for it to be the remedy. Why don't you use the fury sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, sedative is too... general. Each of us have their own remedy that we need to find, and sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down, and it's all I need to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do... kinky stuff to suit themselves during their fury. <laughs> what kind of kinky? Like BDSM. That only happens in porn. <laughs> Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you're like watching that kind of thing, you know? Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it'd be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the Fury. Exactly. So, continuing your story. How far along do you- How far along are you finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far all I know is it involves ginger. And probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea, maybe. You better write that down. You don't want to- Want him wreaking havoc in your coffee shop. We don't have any tea today, but next time you're visiting... Maybe I could try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. I'm sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right, thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit the coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Thanks for coming. Take care on your way home. Well, that was an interesting exchange. <laughs> oh, you were listening, were you? Hey, are you done with writing for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys? Kind of me with this video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. <laughs> it's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know. Oh, never mind. You. I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. I know. And it was pretty interesting and productive tonight, but now I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't f forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't worry. I'll be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way back. Hmm. <laughs> Tateric. Tea with milk mixed by pouring the two repeatedly between cups. Originally from Malaysia. Is that a real thing? Well, I think we're gonna leave this episode there. Let me know what you think below. I think it's kind of interesting. I have no idea where this game's going, but it's kind of cool. Um, like I said, the sale's going on most of this weekend, I think up till April 4th. Uh, the proceeds go to Muhammad's family. So if you want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.